Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm feeling really chill and I just want to make a really chill makeup video in front of the window. I plan on doing like a natural, not natural, I never could do a natural beat, but a neutral beat today and I'm gonna be using the products that I've been using for the past couple months all summer because my skin tone has changed I've gotten darker so today I'm using no artificial light I'm sitting in front of my sliding door and I'm just filming with my camera in front of the window I wanted to film another video like this because I did one a while back and you guys really liked it it was when my skin was acting up a little bit and I wanted to show you guys the texture and everything on my skin and how I apply the makeup on top of the texture and how it actually looked in real natural sunlight. I think I want to start out by putting my hair back. Oh, let me show you guys how my skin is looking right now. So this is how my skin is looking. My skin is far from perfect, but it's come a really, really long way. A really long way, if you've been following me for a while. So this is how it's looking. Um, I've had a couple pimples lately pop up. When I was pregnant, my skin was like perfect. But lately I had a pimple like right there, um, right here, right here. They're just starting to pop up again, but my skincare routine has gotten better so that they don't scar as darkly or as dark is darkly a word <laughs> i'm gonna use my versali hydration moisturizer i think this is a moisturizer and a primer i use this a lot because it gives me a nice pretty glow when i do my makeup this is pretty expensive but it's definitely worth the money for me even though i didn't buy this they sent it to me but i would purchase this but i put a little bit on my finger and then I apply it to my face like this and then I just rub it in like this you can leave this on as a face mask like a hydrating face mask I just go in and rub it in and the beads start to disappear like the little blue beads see how my skin is like glowing oh I like my makeup to be really dewy and glowy but not oily so I need to use a primer that will kind of smooth out my skin fill in my pores and help my t-zone not to get too dewy and glowy because that's oil sis that's oil i'm gonna use my tatcha silk canvas primer this is a really expensive primer too but i'm a skincare junkie as well as like a primer junkie i just love primers and skincare so I will spend the money on it. I think this was close to $60. I bought this. But it's so nice. It makes your skin so smooth. I put it right in the center of my face. Because it smooths out my pores. And it helps me not to get oily in the places that I don't want to be glowy and dewy as much, you know? So for foundation, I'm going to use the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. This is in the color New Caledonia. I've gotten two shades darker. I just like to apply the foundation to a microfiber sponge and I just blend the foundation into my skin like this. And down on my chin, I kind of just rub it in. These microfiber sponges really help to make your foundation look really flawless. I like the beauty blenders, but the microfiber sponges just blurs your skin so much. Then I just put a very small amount on my forehead and I put that on my brows as well. So next what I'm gonna do is just spoolie my brows up because they are all over the place. So I'm gonna take the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I like to use the two colors, dark brown and ebony. I use ebony on the tail end, and then I use dark brown on the front part. So as you can see, they're different colors.
My brows are giving me trouble today, but we're gonna move on. I'm gonna take the LA Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, and I'm just gonna clean my brows up a lot. I've been using Fawn. I usually use, um, I think, Cool Tan, but I've been using Fawn because I've gotten darker. I'm gonna take a little blending brush and just blend out the concealer a little bit. And this is gonna be our base for our eyeshadow. So you wanna make sure, so I just like to make sure this is really smooth. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye. I'm gonna use my Melt eyeshadow stack and I'm gonna go in with the color Unseen and I'm gonna use a MAC blending brush and I'm gonna put this right below my brow bone. So I'm using all of these shades today. I'm gonna go in with this reddish color right here and I'm gonna use like a pinched eyeshadow brush. This is a MAC 217. And I'm gonna go in with that red shade and just put it a little bit further down on my eye. And just pack that on like this. And sometimes what I like to do to get everything really blended is like pull my eyelid, take my beauty blender, pull my eyelid and just go in there and blend like this. So now I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadow and I'm gonna use this to carve out my lid for like a soft little cut crease kind of look. I'm gonna take some of this on my concealer brush and apply it with the brush because I do not like how that was applying. So now I'm gonna go in and use this bottom shade right here. And this is just gonna go on top of that color to make it even more pigmented. So if you don't know how to do eyeliner, use eyeshadow. It makes it a lot easier. And use like a really flat brush to put it on. I want like a smoky line today, so I'm gonna use that. And this is a MAC to the brush I use for my brows. And what I'm gonna do is just go in and first put a line right by my lash line. And then bring it up a little bit. Bring this down. I'm actually going to use this Makeup Geek pencil brush. This is a really, really small brush. I'm going to put a small amount of black on there. Small, small amount. And just hold my eye down like this. It got a little bit brighter out here, so let me turn it down a little bit. Hold it down like this and just smoke out this line I'm actually gonna take my little eyebrow brush and I'm gonna take some of this black color just a little bit of it and kind of cut out my crease a little bit just a little bit lightly just to give it some definition. I'm gonna use some of these eyelashes that I have in this little case right here. I don't know what lashes these are, but I reuse my lashes. I don't know about you. Now I'm gonna use my Rimmel 
eyeshadow or <laughs> eyeliner and I'm just gonna put this on my waterline For concealer, I'm going to use Oldie But Goodie. I'm going to use my Maybelline concealers, my Age Rewind. And I love concealer and I put it everywhere. So I've been doing this lately. Putting it on my chin. That's Leela. Don't mind her. Right there. Put it on the bridge of my nose. And I'm not going to put any on my forehead just because. If you have dark circles, this is the color caramel. If you have dark circles, um, go get this concealer. Like, I'm not playing. <laughs> it's so good and it's so lightweight. So, I'm just going to put this caramel shade everywhere as well. And then I'm gonna take my microfiber sponge. And I'm just gonna go in and blend this concealer out, trying to keep it in the areas that I just put it down and just kind of sharpen this line out here like that because it's not sharp. This is just going to make our eyeliner look even better. And I like my concealer to be very bright. Very, very, very bright. I'm just going to blend my tin. Keep it in this area. Blown this out. Bring this up a little bit. Even though I look crazy right now, trust me, it'll all come together. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake just a little bit. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I'm gonna use my fluffy brush and just apply a little bit underneath my eye. I'm not gonna bake or anything. I'm just gonna apply some of this. Apply some on my chin, on my upper lip, on my nose, everywhere we put that concealer. I'm gonna take my MSF by MAC in the color dark, and I'm gonna put that on this brush as well. And I'm just gonna brush that powder away and it's gonna neutralize it and this is gonna make my face look super smooth and photoshopped look at that just brush it away I'm gonna use this in every spot that I baked and I put concealer I'm gonna use my Fenty Expresso stick, and I'm gonna contour my cheeks like this. And I'm gonna bring some of this up here, make like two dots here. We're gonna put some dots up here, my forehead. I'm gonna take a little bit and put it right here, just a little bit. This stick spreads a lot. Put some right here, on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna go in and blend it out. And kind of blend it upwards. pinch my brush a little 
and just blend out oh that is dork blend out this nose contour which is super dark but we're gonna blend it out I'm gonna use some bronzer on top of that contour cream I'm gonna use the prime beauty brown bronzer I'm just gonna put this on top of that cream this is gonna hold down the cream product we just put down the fancy stuff and this is gonna make me look a little bit more sun-kissed so now what I like to do is take my medium deep Laura Mercier powder it's like none in here so I'm gonna go in and use my microfiber sponge and just get up in there and sharpen up this contour And I'm gonna use my MSF to sweep this powder away. I don't let it sit there for that long at all anymore. All right, so now for highlight. I like to use this Brown Bonnie Dewmanizer. This is by The Balm. I use a actual beauty blender that's damp and I squeeze it out and I put this on as my highlight so I use a little bit of this as my base highlight because this makes me look like a glazed donut and I like that just take a little bit more put it on the tip of my nose and a little bit on the bridge so just to set that and make it look even better I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty highlighting palette the Sun keeps getting brighter and brighter okay there we go we use this shade right here I'm just gonna put this on the tip of my nose bridge I'll put it right here as well and I like to do I call this the Rihanna because I've seen it on her one time. I put it underneath my brow and then swoop it over. Do like a C motion. So I'm going to take a little bit of the black shadow from my Melt stack. And I'm going to really smoke out the bottom lash line. Smoke it out. So now we're going to go into the lips. I'm going to use some of my lip injection, just a little bit, just to get some of the wrinkles out of my lips. And then I'm going to use Chestnut as my lip liner today by MAC. I actually need to do my bottom lashes. Oh my god, I didn't put on any blush! So I'm going to use the Minted Cosmetics blush in Clay Too Much. This is my all-time favorite blush. It just looks so natural and nice and pretty. I'm just going to put that on my cheeks I'm gonna use chestnut on my lips like I said before so I'm just gonna go in and shape my lip I'm going to use the Urban Decay 1993 lipstick. This is what it looks like. It's like a nice nude color. It's like one of my favorite nudes. And then I'm going to add some Fenty lip gloss on top of that. Um, so now I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime, my Fix Plus Spray, Oldie But Goodie. This just makes my face look more like skin instead of powdery. This is how my face is looking right now. Natural daylight. Yeah, I think I'm going to put my hair up in a bun and just 
do my edges really quick. 